Yo, what's up, guys? It's Nick from Begins Gaming. Welcome back to another MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty video. As today, we have another debut. And now, yes, no green screen. It's because I'm wearing my green shirt today. I'm not changing or doing anything. So, yeah, no green screen, which means you guys are unfortunately not going to be able to see the PCIs. But it is whatever. It's not the end of the world. Today's debut is going to be 96 overall. Cole Hamels, he was the headliner yesterday. 112 stamina, 91, 98 per nines, 88 control, 90 walks per nine is very good. 82 velocity is eh, 99 break is great, but he is a good pitch repertoire. He's the circle change, four seam, cutter, sweeping curve, two seam. So this is an interesting card. He is going for around 70K to 66K. I got him for 63K. His price has been really weird. It started at like 90K and then it went down and then back up and then down. It's It's been really weird. Also, a, key, a thing to keep in mind is I got the Spencer Howard the other day. I used him once. He got completely shelled, but he will have his own debut tomorrow because I'm not giving up on him after one start. So I'm going to debut him tomorrow, see how he does. But nothing has changed with my team except I did get the Vidal Brujan, and I put him on my bench. Basically, what the situation is here is so Brandon Marsh and Jazz Chisholm are my pinch hitters versus righties. Buster Posey and Ricky Henderson are my pinch hitters versus lefties. And then Vidal Brujan is my speed guy, my pinch runner. So that's basically what the situation is. Um, so another thing is you guys see my rating. I've lost three straight blowouts, 12 to 1, 10 to 3, and 9 to nothing. So hopefully I can break the, the losing streak and get back into championship series. And hopefully finally just end the misery and get into World Series. Because I, I, I put myself through so much, and I really I just really need to just make World Series and just get this thing over with. So, let's hop into the game. Alright, so we all know who I'm pitching. I'm pitching Cole Hamels because it's debut. Holy English, because it's his debut. Uh, but yeah, my lineup hasn't changed, excluding I sold my Mac Camp, or my second Mac Camp. So we are facing the Twitch VSN Schmuck Tropic. He is Vidal Brujan, Ricky Henderson, Reggie Jackson, Prestige Chipper, Carlos Correa, McCovey, Sandberg, and Posey. So he's a good team. Good at the game. So I'm not going to assume anything as Craig Biggio hits it down the line for a leadoff double. Yep, he's going to get a bad animation with Reggie Jackson. It's unbelievable how horrible Reggie Jackson is in his primary position, too. Come on, Sandberg. Sandberg. Uh, Sandberg pops out the first for the first out. Brings up Mickey Mantle. So I have two more chances to drive in Biggio. I, 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 would, I would really like to drive in Biggio here in the first. Just get a run on the board. Can we get something? Nope. I just cannot hit. I'm just drive him in. How is that not a check swing? Once again, you guys aren't going to see... But I don't understand how that's not a check swing. <sighs> Alright, so I'm going to work the sweeping curve. Another pitcher who has a sweeping curve, who is a lefty, is Hal Newhauser. And he, I mean, I wouldn't say he's lived up to the expectations I've given him, Hal Newhauser. But his sweeping curve has been pretty good. So hopefully it's the same with Cole Hamels' sweeping curve. And not with Cole Hamels' oh, expectations. One, two and he hits a home run all right well he gets a one run lead in the first sweeping curve to Reggie Jackson and he's gonna hit it up the middle there's nothing I can do about that it's not even close to the zone and he gets a hit let me guess good okay yep good okay on a pitch that's not even near the zone great and now he is prestige chipper up just hit it out already, honestly. Like, I'm throwing the sweeping curve. And it's completely hung and he hits a home run. Oh, I'm trying my best not to destroy everything in my room right now. This is incredibly frustrating. <sighs> Cutter. Finally, we get an out. Two outs. <sighs> Oh, 
Willie McCovey is going to hit that to center field. And I'm going to make the play ending the inning, but he scores three runs. Shouldn't have gotten that second hit. It was a good okay. A few feet below the strike zone. It's just, it's just annoying. Reggie Jackson, is that even going to be a hit when it's good, good, and then his good, okay? All right, I don't even want to hear anything he says. If that's a hit or an error, I don't care, honestly, because that was a good, good. You're not going to see. I was right on that pitch, and then his good, okay, was a hit. So if he's going to complain, I'm sorry, but you can't. All right, Trout, I need a run here, and I swing at a bad pitch, and now I'm going to get, get back to second. Well, thank you. All right, I got lucky there that he made the wrong decision. Pepe, can you come in clutch here? Pepe, oh come on, game. That's not a good okay. That is not a good okay. Oh, I wish you guys could see the PCIs so badly. Sweeping curve, and he's gonna hit that to second base. For the second out, bringing up his pitcher, Kyle Wright. Full count to Mickey, and it's a two out walk for Mickey Mantle. Can I do something with it though? Ames, I need a home run. And I'll take a single. That brings up Gary Sheffield with two on. Let's go, Gary. Gary, thank you. Is that Reggie? I can't go because that's not deep enough. Yeah, Mickey would have been hosed at the plate, but that does bring up Reggie Jackson. Reggie, come on, Reggie. I need you so badly. I want to... Uh, I want to break everything in this room. 0-2 sweeping curve to Reggie Jackson. And he's going to ground that to Sheffield, who's going to make the play. All right, so we get another 1-2-3 inning in the third. Seems like Cole Hamels is sort of settling down after that first inning. Not much. He's probably going to expect a circle change down there, so he's going to say, oh, or he just doesn't swing. All right. Brings up Willie McCovey. I'm throwing the cutter. This is a lefty-lefty matchup. And I missed. And he, he's going to get a fly out to end the inning. I get a third straight 1-2-3 inning after that abysmal first inning. So, yeah. All right, Sandberg, you're 0 for 2. And you are now 1 for 3. All right. So I got a single to bring up Mickey Mantle. Mickey, you need to come in clutch here. Ugh. 3-1 to Mickey. And I'm right on that pitch. How is that? Run! I don't understand how that's a good okay. Or it's not a good okay, it's a late okay. It's a late okay. Back. Come on, Thames. And I'm out in front. I, or I, I, it's not that I've never thrown it, I just haven't thrown it this game. And he's going to ground out to two air Thames for the first out. Come on, Sheffield. Sheffield, thank you. Lead off double for Gary Sheffield. And who does that bring up? That brings up my Trout. No, it brings up Reggie. Reggie, come on, come on. Really. Alright, you know what, now that I see the PCI, that shouldn't have been a hit, but it's just annoying when I can't score runs. Come on, Trout. And Trout. Good o or early, okay, I, I missed it. I'm really not going to drive him in. Wow, I am, I am horrible at this game. Alright, Pepe. Man, I am so... O2 to Bruhan, and he's gonna be safe. Oh no, he actually made the play in time. Wow, thank you, Sandberg. It's not like you shouldn't be doing that with your 95 fielding. No, he can't. Don't miss that. Get up and throw the ball. And he misses the pitch. And he's gonna line out to Mike Trout for the first out of the inning. Fastball. He pops it up. Alright, Thames is going to be there for the second out. 
That bring who does that bring up? Brings up Buster Posey. Please make that he's not gonna make the catch. And he misses it. Alright, so we only give up one run in the inning. It's just still ridiculous. Oh, I'm not winning this game. This kid, honestly, he's not bad at the game, but he is not better than me at this game. And to consider the fact that he's winning is kind of ridiculous. Alright, 1-0 to Mickey. Mickey, come on, give me that. Thank you, Mickey. I finally did something. Now, can I put up more runs and win this game? Because I deserve the win. 21 power. And I got antsy. Ugh. He's gonna make that play. Alright. Hit one for four. Nope. I missed the sinker. Alright, one out. We still have two yeah. outs, though, so we can still win. Pepe. Pepe. <sighs> Down to our final out. Who does that bring up? The pitcher. So I'm bringing Jazz Chisel. I lost. I deserve to win. I'm really, I'm really frustrated with myself right now. Cole Hamels, he didn't do, he didn't do bad. He did really well. He had one bad inning, and the rest of the innings didn't give up a single hit. Uh, but because I'm horrible at this game, I couldn't drive anyone in, and I couldn't get the win. You know what? Fair play to my opponent. He did pretty well, but I think I deserve that win. And just like that, I'm down 100 rating points after four straight losses. I need some time off of a ranked seasons. I'm really, really, really fed up right now. Uh, I got a bonus I have a pack, let me guess, from Craig Vigio's Prestige. And, yep, I just need to score more runs and I get his Prestige. Alright, well, that is going to be it for this video. Lost four straight, went from 8.30 to 7.39. Fantastic. Uh, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I've been your Snake from Big Gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.